super shiny. Just make sure you do it thin. You don't want to do it so like really thick on. I feel like Instagram is so tiny. Is it matter when you do your buffing? And just give it a swipe on the mic underneath of the nails. Just remove the, the excess glue, uh, the top coat that you don't want to keep the shape of the nails nice and precise. Yes here for 60 seconds and we're gonna take a look of the other hand that Jada has we're gonna do this cute design it's super cute huh Jada you said it. I like them a lot you said I love them a lot so I'm gonna using um is that calmly it's this one the calmly Brian the color. Calmly brilliant. Brilliant. Uh -huh. That's the color of it. Mm -hmm. The name of it. Calmly brilliant. Where do you Calmly. get your nail tech gloves? I can't find any on the site. I last ordered some. Hmm? Uh, where do you get your nail tech gloves? I can't find any on the site. I last ordered mine from. Which one are you looking oh, at? Oh, Surrenda. The, she has the nail tech gloves. At the moment, we don't have it, but we have our like, clothes distributors closer to us. The, our distributors, they carry that. All right, so next, I'm gonna using condensed glue gel. If you are using a dipping powder, you will add the one coat of the gel base first and cure for uh, 10 to 15 seconds first depend on the manufacturer so uh, such as you but then if you're doing a color acrylic with monomer you don't need to add the base gels on okay blend it nicely because uh, really thick density let me show you okay it's not going anywhere and okay here's a question uh for his answer for uh, who asking earlier if you want to do a matte top coat this is a good time if you don't if you want to do a matte look you're going to apply the matte top coat on the top of condensed unkeer condensed glue gel instead of doing a sh um, shiny top coat but i am going to using is no white top coat on the top of condensed glue gel Hi Maya. I just want to make sure that I say hello to everyone. Please give me tips on how to make the stones last longer and not come off. So right here you're seeing that uh, the techniques I am doing is I apply the condensed glue gel. This thick density of condensed glue gel will and a no white top coat will grab your base of the crystals, stay in one place or last long, at least three weeks. I'm not saying it for the like more than three weeks, which is we have a clients going like six weeks. And a lot of clients are sent us the pictures will make it longer than that. And then after that, we're gonna double secure with precision glue. Uh, bear with me, we're gonna show you that. Let me try to get that. 
I learned that the plastic stones don't stick. Are you using crystals or plastic rhinestones? For our crystal? Yeah, I'm gonna see. But, well, if you're curious about our crystal, not about crystal or plastic. Did you wipe the brush? Yes, you wipe the brush when you put it back. What is that? Um, is the question is, Jada? Can I see that now? It's okay, I'm gonna do my own things. You don't need a license to be a nail tech, you can do. <laughs> You definitely need a license to be a nail tech. To be nail tech, like to perform for the clients? Yes. Yes. You do need a license. I don't know. It depends on the state. Our state is like, um, what here in uh, Florida? Like how many hours? Like 240 hours here? 450. 415 now? I think so. I'm pretty sure that's how much mine, mine was. Go, well, don't have a, I have a license on the Florida, but I have a license original from Seattle and my, like, 600 hours. So if it formed something, it's still really... So here, <coughs> gives me tip and trick for beginners or for it all of you who... With the condensed screw gel and the bottle. Okay, so this person is basically asking, um, after you use the condensed glue gel, do you only use that oh, bottle gosh. of top coat for that condensed glue gel, or is it okay if it mixes? Can you use it like just on a regular client? You can. You can do it for a regular client. It's a top coat. The special is um, compatible with our condensed glue gel. It's not only Chinese. It's help to hold the crystals in uh, one place. So absolutely, it's make sure if you feel like you're contaminating condensed glue gel, make sure you wipe your brush off before. And you know, after a while, when you start working a lot with crystal placement, you know when you are floating the techniques, which is that you're not gonna heavy handed like drag your condensed glue gels. Uh, when you apply the no white top coat, your no white top coat bristle will not have any contaminating at all. But to be safe, you should wipe it off before you put it back in the bottles so they can using it with others. Super cute, Jada. I'll do a little bit different. So here's the tip and tricks when you're doing um, crystal placements. If you're really enjoying it, like doing it, you can create so many different designs, I'm not gonna lie. Um, as long as you place them close together, really tight together, you can achieve a lot of different look. Um, can you repeat that it's not bad for it to get into the bottle and if they feel like it is that they can wipe off the bottle? Yeah, so if you are getting and you feel like it's sticky on your brush, on the bristle, make sure you wipe it on the piece of paper to remove all the residues on your brush. Then you can put it back in the bottle. This nail is so beautiful, Jada. I keep wanna go, keep going. It's gonna be just a little bit uh, from her uh, other nails. The other nails, but it's gonna be fun.
so if you do all 10 nails and just like two rings fingers and you do continue the same that I share with you with the techniques of marbling, encapsulating if you're just tuning in you can always like we're watching them from our story time I think now we'll post it on our uh, post IGTV you can able to view it so then you know you can view it over and over so many times you want so if you like say if your clients don't want any beads to look like a jewelry you can just doing just crystal plays as long as you place them tight and close together these always come out really nice and um, if the clients like want to be a little bit more dramatic and more defined I will place the beads on it because this metal beads is really a game changer it's like completely different look all right, so now I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds if you're happy with this. So 60 seconds cure.